Today I want to share with you one key lesson that has the power to transform your life. Imagine, if you will, a young musician filled with dreams of grandeur stepping into the bustling, unforgiving world of music. He had talent, a touch of genius on the guitar, and a voice that could soothe the weariest of hearts. But in this whirlwind of creativity and noise, he found himself ensnared in a web of distractions. Social gatherings, endless rehearsals with no real direction, and the allure of fleeting pleasures that the city nightlife offered. His focus, split amongst these diversions, led to forgotten lyrics and melodies that never reached fruition. Now, why do I share this story with you today? Because, my friends, it speaks to a truth we all face in our journey through life. In our world, brimming with distractions, the art of maintaining an unwavering focus is more critical than ever. Today I stand before you to talk about not just holding on to that focus, but nurturing it, cultivating it until it becomes as natural as breathing. You see, to live a life of intention, a life where each day is a step towards the fulfillment of your dreams, requires more than just ambition. It demands a focus so strong, so unbreakable, that the chaos of the world fades away, leaving only you and your path forward. This isn't just about achieving professional success or personal milestones. It's about taking proactive control of your life and time. How many of you have found yourselves at the end of a day wondering, what have I truly accomplished? It's a common plight, one that gnaws at the essence of our potential. But how, you might ask, can one cultivate such focus in an age where our attention is pulled in a thousand different directions? The answer lies not in the extraordinary, but in the simplicity of our daily choices. Since saying no to the fourth social gathering of the week, recognizing that your time could be better spent refining your craft or nurturing your personal growth. It's in choosing to turn off the notifications on your phone for a few hours each day, giving your mind the space to delve into the deep work that your goals demand. I urge you to reflect on your daily habits, on the multitude of small decisions you make, often subconsciously, that dictate the flow of your day. Are they serving your ultimate purpose or are they distractions masquerading as obligations? The journey to unwavering focus starts with acknowledging these moments, with making a conscious choice to prioritize your time and energy towards what truly matters. Now, let's not mistake this focus for rigidity. Life is unpredictable, filled with genuine joys and unforeseen challenges that deserve our attention. The focus I speak of is fluid, adaptable. It allows us to navigate through life's surprises with grace, ensuring that we remain steadfast in our pursuits without losing the essence of what makes life truly enriching. As we venture forward, let us carry with us the story of the young musician who, once lost in the cacophony of distractions, found his melody by embracing the silence, by focusing on the strings of his guitar and the voice within him that yearned to sing. His journey from chaos to harmony is a testament to the transformative power of focus, a reminder that no matter the distractions that life may throw our way, our dreams are always within reach if we choose to focus, truly focus, on making them a reality. So I ask you as you leave here today to take a moment to consider, what is your guitar? What melody lies within you waiting to be heard? And what distractions are you willing to set aside to let that melody soar? The path to an unwavering focus is yours to tread, and I have no doubt that it will lead you to the realization of your most cherished dreams. In the tapestry of life, it's our focus that colors the threads, weaving the patterns of our destiny with each choice and action. Focus, my friends, is not merely a matter of concentration. It's about embracing a vision that guides your steps, even when the path ahead is shrouded in mist. This deeper, unwavering focus is the compass that directs us not only toward our goals, but shapes the very journey we embark upon, influencing each decision, each crossroad we encounter. Let me ask you, what does focus mean to you? Is it the ability to complete a task without succumbing to the allure of distractions? or is it something more profound? True focus 
the kind that fosters personal growth and paves the road to success, is an unshakable commitment to your values and dreams. It's the inner clarity that silences the noise of the world, allowing you to hear your own voice, guiding you towards your destiny. History is replete with tales of individuals whose focus has carved their names into the annals of time. Consider the story of Thomas Edison, whose relentless pursuit of innovation led to the creation of the light bulb. Despite thousands of failures, his focus never wavered, his vision never dimmed. Or take the tale of Amelia Art, who, with unwavering focus, shattered the glass ceilings of her time to soar across the Atlantic, paving the skyways for the women who would follow. These stories are not just remnants of the past. They are beacons illuminating the power of focused effort. Edison's focus was not just on solving a problem, but on transforming the very way we live. Earhart's focus went beyond flying. It was about redefining possibilities, about flying in the face of conventions and reaching for the stars. Their focus was their legacy, and their achievements are testaments to the transformative power of a vision held steadfast. I mean, I would, I mean, we view a story from the fabric of our era. Picture a young entrepreneur fueled by a vision to change the world through technology. Every day, he sits in a modest office, the world outside buzzing with skeptics. They say his ideas are too ambitious, the obstacles too great. Yet his focus remains unshaken. With each setback, his resolve strengthens Today, his technology connects millions worldwide, turning his once distant dream into our everyday reality. This entrepreneur, like Edison and Earhart, teaches us that focus is the foundation upon which empires are built and dreams are realized. But how, you may ask, can we cultivate this unwavering focus in our own lives? It begins with clarity of vision. Ask yourself, what is it that you truly seek? Is it the pursuit of happiness, the quest for knowledge, or the desire to make a mark on the world? Define your vision, hold it close, and let it guide your actions. Next, embrace discipline. Focus is not born out of fleeting inspiration, but forged in the fires of daily discipline. It's about making choices that align with your goals, even when they're the harder path to tread. Remember, the oak tree's strength is not in its leaves, but in its roots, anchoring it against the fiercest storms. Lastly, nurture resilience. The journey towards your dreams is fraught with challenges, each one an opportunity to strengthen your focus. Like the river that carves through stone, not by force, but by persistence, your resilience will shape the path to your goals. As we navigate the complexities of our lives, let us take inspiration from those who've walked before us. Let the stories remind us that with focus, no dream is too distant, no goal too lofty. Let us hold our focus as the beacon that guides us through the darkest nights towards the dawn of our greatest achievements. In this whirlwind of existence, we call modern life distractions abound, lurking in every corner, waiting to steal our most precious commodity. It's as if we're standing in the middle of a sling market with hawkers on every side vying for our attention, except in this market, the currency is not coins, but our potential, our time, and ultimately our well-being. Let's pull back the curtain on these distractions, shall we? First, there's technology, a double-edged sword if there ever was one. It promises to connect us, to make our lives easier, and yet how often do we find ourselves lost in the labyrinth of the internet, mindlessly scrolling through social media, our original intentions forgotten? Then there's the siren call of multitasking, which whispers seductively in our ears about efficiency and productivity, but in reality scatters our thoughts like leaves in the wind, leaving us feeling more frazzled than fulfilled. And let's not overlook the emotional triggers. Those moments of boredom, stress, or loneliness that so often find us reaching for our phones or some other distraction as a salve, however temporary it might be. These triggers, these distractions, they dilute our focus. Yes, but more than that, they dilute our very essence, our potential to create, to achieve, to connect in meaningful ways. That's at the cost of these distractions, not just in missed deadlines or decreased productivity, 
but in missed opportunities for growth, for joy, for life? How many sunsets have we missed because our eyes were glued to screens? How many conversations went unheard, moments unshared, because we were too busy chasing the ephemeral satisfaction of likes and follows? This is the true cost of distraction, a life lived in the shallows, potential unmet, dreams unrealized. But here's the thing, my friends. We are not powerless in the face of these distractions. No, we have within us the ability to choose to decide where we direct our focus, our energy, our time. It starts with awareness, recognizing the distractions for what they are, acknowledging their pull without allowing them to dictate our actions. From awareness comes action. Set boundaries with technology. Designate times to check emails or social media and stick to them. Embrace the art of single tasking doing one thing at a time fully, completely. And when those emotional triggers arise, as they inevitably will, meet them not with distraction, but with presence. Take a walk, meditate, connect with a friend, not through a screen, but in the real, breathtakingly beautiful world. And perhaps most importantly, cultivate curiosity about your own life. Become a student of your own experiences, asking, what truly brings me joy? What am I passionate about? What do I want to achieve? And then, what steps can I take today, however small, to bring me closer to those dreams? For it is in these questions and in the actions we take in response to them that we find the antidote to distraction. So, as we navigate the tumultuous seas of modern life, let us not be ships adrift, carried hither and thither by the currents of distraction. Instead, let us be the captains of our own ships, setting our sails with purpose, steering our course with focus towards the shores of our greatest dreams and aspirations. Let us choose every day to live not in the shallows, but in the deep, rich waters of life where true fulfillment lies. Remember, the power to focus, to truly focus, is within each of us. It's a choice, a commitment, a way of being in the world. And when we choose focus, when we choose to engage deeply with our lives and our dreams, there's no limit to what we can achieve. So, let us choose wisely, my friends. Let us choose focus in the garden of our lives. Focus is the sunlight that nurtures our dreams, turning them from seeds into flourishing blooms. But just as a garden requires the gardener's attentive care, so too does our focus demand our nurturing. Today, let's walk together through the garden, and I'll share some tools and techniques to help you cultivate an unbreakable focus. The first tool in our garden is the art of setting clear goals. Imagine each goal as a seed you plant in the earth. These seeds are your dreams, your aspirations, and they need clear definition to grow. Ask yourself, what do I want to achieve? But don't stop there. Ask, why is this important to me? This why will be the rain that nourishes your seed, giving it a reason to break through the soil and seek the sunlight. Now consider the act of prioritizing tasks as pruning your garden. Not all plants can or should flourish. Some sap strength from others. Identify your most vital goals and give them space to grow. This means sometimes saying no to opportunities or tasks that do not align with your garden's layout. It's in choosing what we give our attention to that our garden. Our life begins to take shape. Creating a conducive environment is akin to choosing the right spot for your garden. Just as plants need the right balance of sun and shade, we need environments that encourage focus. This might mean a quiet room for deep work, or perhaps for you. It means a bustling cafe where the energy of life around you fuels your creativity. Know your garden's needs and create, or seek out, environments that meet them. Practicing mindfulness is the soil where your focus will root. In a world buzzing with distractions, mindfulness anchors us in the now, in the task at hand. It's about being fully present with your work, with your family, with yourself, whether it's through meditation, deep breathing, or simply pausing to truly listen to someone. Mindfulness strengthens the connection between our actions and our intentions. 
Now let's talk about the trellis that supports all this growth, discipline, and habit formation. Discipline is the structure, the daily practice of turning towards our work, even when inspiration wanes. It's showing up for your dreams. Day after day, trusting that the water and sunlight you're providing will eventually lead to growth. Forming habits that support focused work and living is akin to laying down a path through your garden. These habits guide your way, making it easier to navigate towards your goals. Start small. Perhaps it begins with waking up just a little earlier each day to dedicate time to your most important project. Or maybe it's as simple as starting each day by writing down your top three priorities. But how, you might ask, do we turn these practices into habits? The key lies in consistency and reward. Each time you engage in a focus-enhancing activity, you're laying down a stepping stone on your path. And each time you successfully complete a task or adhere to your set boundaries, take a moment to acknowledge and celebrate your progress. These rewards, whether they're a moment of gratitude or a small treat, reinforce the habit loop in our brains, making it easier to continue these behaviors. Remember, cultivating focus is not a one-day job nor is it an easy task. It requires patience, persistence, and most importantly, forgiveness. There will be days when the weeds seem to overrun the garden, when distractions pull us from our path. It's in these moments that we must be gentle with ourselves, acknowledging the setback, but not allowing it to define our journey. As we stand here in the garden of our making, surrounded by the goals we've planted, the habits we've nurtured, and the discipline that structures our days, know that you are the master gardener of your life. With each focused action, you're not only bringing your dreams to fruition, but you're also creating a legacy, a garden that will inspire others to cultivate their own. So, let us take up our gardening tools with renewed purpose. Let us nurture our focus with the same care we would give to the most delicate of bloom. For in this focus, in this deliberate, loving attention to our dreams and goals, lies the power to transform not just our lives, but the world itself. Let's make our gardens a testament to the strength of our focus, the depth of our dreams, and the unyielding resilience of the human spirit. In the canvas of life, time is the paint we use to create a masterpiece. How we manage this paint, how we apply each stroke, determines the beauty and the depth of our creation. Imagine if we approached each day with this artist's mindset, viewing our time as the precious medium through which we craft our lives. Today, I want to guide you through the art of time management, not merely as a method of getting things done, but as a way of designing a life that resonates with our deepest aspirations. Let's start with a simple truth. Each of us has the same 24 hours in a day, yet how we utilize these hours makes all the difference. Effective time management begins with prioritization. Think of your daily task as a set of jars. Some are large, filled with the big dreams and goals you're working toward. Others are small, representing the day-to-day -day necessities. If you start by filling your day with sand, those minute tasks and distractions, you'll have no room for the larger rocks. But if you place the big rocks first, you'll find you can fit in the smaller ones around them. This is the essence of prioritizing. Focusing first on what truly matters, ensuring that your most significant goals are given the space they deserve in your life. Now consider the power of the word. No, in a world that praises the busy, saying, oh, becomes an act of courage, it's about protecting your time, recognizing that each yes is to something inconsequential is a, you know, to something monumental. Remember, every commitment you make is a stroke of paint on your canvas. Make sure each one contributes to the masterpiece you're aiming to create. Another technique is batching, grouping similar tasks together to maximize efficiency and focus. Batching turns chaos into order allowing you to concentrate fully on the task at hand without the mental clutter of constantly switching gears. Imagine dedicating specific blocks of time for emails, calls, or creative work. 
This isn't just about productivity. It's about creating a rhythm to your day that supports your overall well-being. But what about the unexpected? The interruptions that invariably seep into our carefully planned schedules. Here's where the art of flexibility comes in. While structure is vital, so too is the ability to adapt. The unexpected isn't always a distraction. Sometimes it's an opportunity. A splash of the unexpected color, that adds depth to our painting. Embrace it, learn from it, and then gently steer yourself back to the course you've set. Now, let's shift our focus from managing time to designing life. Designing your life intentionally is about more than just time management. It's about aligning your daily actions with your core values and long-term vision. It starts with clarity, knowing what you want your life to stand for, understanding your purpose, and recognizing the legacy you wish to leave. This clarity acts as your North Star, guiding your decisions, your focus, and ultimately your time. Designing your life intentionally also means embracing the power of reflection. Regularly take a step back to assess your path. Are your actions still aligned with your goals? Have your priorities shifted? Life is a dynamic, ever-evolving painting, and what mattered yesterday may not hold the same weight today. This reflective practice ensures that your time, your most precious resource, is always invested in pursuits that resonate with your deepest self. In this journey of life design, remember that perfection is an illusion. There will be days when the paint goes outside the lines, when tasks pile up and your focus wavers. In these moments, kindness becomes your greatest ally. Be kind to yourself, acknowledging your humanity and then gently realign your actions with your intentions. As we conclude our time together today, I invite you to envision the masterpiece you wish to create with your life. Imagine each stroke of paint, each choice, each moment of focus contributing to this beautiful creation. Remember, you are the artist of your life. With effective time management and intentional life design, there is no vision too vast, no dream too daring. So, take up your brush with conviction. Let your focus be steady your actions deliberate, and your heart open to the boundless possibilities that await. For in this beautiful, messy, and extraordinary process of creation, we find not only the life we dream of, but the person we are meant to become.